Mmm, that tomato soup smells so good. But it's missing something. Ah, there we go. Ever wonder what makes your tomato soup taste so good in the history behind those crackers? Ever notice that wherever you vacation in the U.S. or Canada, you can always find a hotel, restaurant, or bed and breakfast that serves Westminster oyster crackers with their soup offerings? Why can these iconic packets be found today in every state except Hawaii? To give you an idea, you have to go into the past. No, not the Mesozoic. To when the sixth president of the United States, John Quincy Adams, the son of John Adams, was still serving in office. The Westminster Cracker Company is a New England-based company established in Westminster, Massachusetts in 1828 by Alfred Wyman. The iconic building, occupied in 1845 and depicted in its product labeling, still stands at the intersection of South Street and Main Street in the center of Westminster today, although it has not been used for manufacturing for decades. In 1891, Charles C. Dolly purchased the Cracker Bakery from Alfred Wyman, after which it remained in the Dolly family and their cousins, the Dunn family, for nearly a century, five generations and counting. For much of the 20th century, the Westminster Cracker Company flourished under the guidance of Charles Dolly's grandson, Porter Dolly. Throughout much of this period, crackers were packaged and shipped to country stores in wooden barrels, which were often prominently displayed, thus earning country stores the nickname Cracker Barrels. Before horseless carriages, wagons were the primary means of delivery and, until a company transitioned to flowers and crumbs after the 1950s, there are still those living in Westminster today who remember the barrel of free oyster crackers kept by the loading door that children could fill their pockets from on their way to school every morning. After Porter Dolly retired, the holding company Dolly & Shepherd Inc., headed up by one of Porter's two sons, David Dolly, sold its breading factory to the Pillsbury Company in 1982. Production at the Westminster Cracker House was shut down a couple of years later, However, the rights to make Westminster crackers was retained by Porter Dolly's other son, Peter Dolly, who, along with his cousin Keith Dunn, resurrected the company under the name Westminster Baker's Company in Rutland, Vermont, in 1988. The company delivered its first product to market the following year, which included a revived Westminster cracker brand. When he passed into memory on December 12, 2008, Porter Dolly was the oldest living resident of Westminster, Massachusetts, and though he is no longer with us, his influence remains. On October 24, 2015, the town of Westminster held its first annual Cracker Festival, attracting more than a thousand visitors, and plans to continue the tradition going forward. So the next time you pop a humble cracker into your mouth, savor the flavor of American history. <coughs> Westminster Crackers. Simply the best.